May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. The ancient Israelites lived in many different places, beginning with Abraham and Sarah, whom God called to go from your country and your kindred. The Israelites had many homes. Sometimes during the exodus from Egypt, they were nomadic people and would move every few days or weeks as they journeyed toward the promised land. Their home was wherever their tent was pitched for the night. Many times you have moved in your lifetime, I bet. Some of you have been born, grown up, and retired all in the same community. Many, but these days in America, you are the exception. We live in a mobile society. People tend to move around from one job to another, from one church to another, from one community to another. For these people, like the ancient Israelites, home is not so much one place where they have lived all of their lives, it is wherever they happen to be at the moment. But no matter how often the Israelites moved, and no matter where they pitched their tents, they always had a home away from home. And surprisingly, it was not a place, it was a person. Or to be exact, it was the Lord. Lord, you have been our dwelling place, said the psalmist in chapter 90, verses 1 through 2. If home is where you are loved and accepted with all of your faults and failures, if home is where you can always come no matter what kind of mood you are in, if home is where the door is always open and the light is always left on for you, and if home is where memories are made with warmth and laughter, then indeed the Lord himself is a dwelling place, a home for you and me. In fact, no earthly home we ever have can live up to the description above. Some may come close and some just the opposite, places of violence and abuse. But only God, through his son Jesus, is a home we can always count on to offer us acceptance, forgiveness, encouragement, help, and hope. And with the Lord as our home, no matter where we might be living, in our own house, in an apartment, in the nursing home, we can always know for sure that we are never alone. We are never forgotten. And we are held securely and mightily in the arms of love. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for being our dwelling place, our home. Wherever I'm feeling lonely or frightened, remind me of your presence and give me your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Now please pray with me also the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. Well, thinking of moving and great places to live, let's turn our books to hymn number 140, which is Sweet By and By. Hymn number 140, Sweet By and By. Hey. 
there's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way. To prepare us a dwelling place there, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore, we shall sing on that beautiful melodious songs of the blessed and our spirits shall sorrow no more and not a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that By and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore to our bountiful Father above. We will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift from His love and the blessings that. God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Go in peace. Good morning. Welcome to this morning's time of devotions. First of all, turn your books to page number 106, hymn number 106, which is my hope is built on nothing less. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, unholy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. 